What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. My Hero, Season 7, Episode 10. Trying to remember where we left off at. You guys are seeing this late because I was out of town last week. And we had a week break since then. So it's been, what, to the Saturday? Two weeks since? About two and a half weeks for me since um we had the last episode. I'm trying to remember the big plots. She lost an earphone jack. <laughs> that I do remember for sure. Endeavor got a... Ma Sustained a pretty serious injury, in my opinion. And this situation doesn't look good over here. Now, you could say that, like, All for One is also, like, physically compromised. But, you know, with his, like, kind of respirator, no vision thing. But is it safe to say that this All for One is the same level of strength that fought um, All Might? two or so seasons ago, just with a different assembly of quirks. Like, he is this, his strength level is still the same. Which, if he is, or if he's pretty much close to that, he's a serious, serious problem. And I would think maybe, maybe, a fully healthy Prime Hawks in a non-weak mentally endeavor <clears throat> could handle him. I don't know if I'm giving... Prime Hawks and a fully mental, a clear mental endeavor, too much credit. Um, but but Hawks at his peak is a serious problem for a lot of people. Now, of course, if you're someone like All Might, or maybe you have a quirk kind of like All for One, and you can just kind of hit air around you and send him flying. <laughs> um, just his quickness is an issue. Between his quickness and speed and Endeavor's power output. It's about as good as a combo I think you're going to get. Now, there might be specific quirks out there that's like, okay, this quirk would really give off one, but I was trying to think of all around. Those two are pretty much going to be an issue. Now, Hawks is not 100%. He's never going to be 100% the rest of his life, which is unfortunate. Um, unless Aerie, you know, does something in the future. Um, Endeavor just is so easily triggered. His mental has already been slowly cracking and cracking, and it's the classic kind of anime thing where... You know, something's revealed or they say something and then like the good guy or the hero just melts <laughs> mentally, just freezes and gets taken advantage of. So that's kind of where he's at. And then everybody else that we've seen, at least in the area, is just they're just fodder. You know, everybody does have their part to play. And even a sidekick can be of assistance, but a sidekick is nothing without something to assist. And right now with Endeavor sustaining that damage and Hawks, Hawks might as well be a sidekick. He's... <sighs> He might not be no stronger than them. Now, maybe mentally and battle-tested, yes, but as far as what he can put out power-wise, who knows? So, all to say all that, this situation looks fucked. <laughs> 100%. Um, Midoriya is, I think, two episodes ago, or was it last episode? He's making his way to where he's supposed to be. Um, we'll see if they can hold out. You could say that that's it. I think this situation looks worse than that, because at least they have a strategy in place, and they have Aizawa there even though he's you know this kind of quirk singularity he's kind of like evolving into a different being physically and it's not something they can turn off I believe they could if they could dodge it and you know maybe it gives them a chance I wish they kind of had an area of effect quirk user in there because I'm assuming he still takes all this like growth that he's doing that isn't quirk related that's just him kind of like growing I'm assuming he still takes damage and feels damage just the same and is he, has he, if, is he 100% cooked? Like, he's come out of the oven for, like, he's fully baked, he's fully downloaded, or does he still have a little bit to go? Is he still not, like, fully reached it yet? I don't know. Um, with that, but you would like to think if you had an area of effect, like, a uh, Endeavor over there, or Todoroki, if you're burning him, yes, he's gonna regen, but he's still taking damage and still at least feeling it. That's gotta count for something to at least annoy him just a little bit, dude. Like, anything counts. The group, and again, I know they assembled the group specifically with Midoriya being there as well. But, like, there's just no boom power output over there, I feel like. Bakugo, maybe, but who knows. So, I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. I think everything else has been pretty much kind of like, I mean, in my opinion, the two other areas don't really matter, or the two other areas, the other areas don't really matter besides these two. Um, I'm sure the others might have cool moments to see if we kind of like check in with them. But it comes down to these two moments right here. I am curious if Shinso has any more parts to play here. Um, I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't be able to affect Shigaraki or All for One. 
I don't even think All for One is aware of his quirk or him as he. Um, now, All for One probably knows who Shinso is. He probably knows all the kids in there, just because you never know who he wants to get his hands on quirk wise. And but I'm, I don't think he's even put together of like how was it that Ayama and his parents were able to deceive me? You know, I didn't sense anything from them. He could still be a chess piece on the board, and you never know. Like it was a couple episodes ago when it was like, holy shit, his quirk stopped working. How did that? You never know where they might drop. Um homeboy to copy somebody's quirk real quick so there's a couple actions there that they could do we know it comes down to me doria i'm curious how this goes over here the way this is setting up this is you know spoilers naruto this is giving me very like ninja war like madara is about to go meet up with obito type shit like why are you here oh because i killed everybody over there <laughs> that's what i feel like you know I, I just don't i don't see how this gets resolved at all given the situation now they go further beyond plus ultra sure i just this looks bad i wouldn't be surprised if uh, i don't know endeavor and hawks get their quirk stolen i have no idea what's going to go on here um and then we also bring up airy a lot and i know that like she can't spam her abilities but what's wild to me is like i feel like it's only written in so that she can't we've seen these kids take their what they've been doing training wise have been taking their quirks to crazy levels and I just feel like they should be training her. Call it what you want. Call her a kid. Call it XYZ. Call it whatever. Like, this is the war. This is the battle of all battles here. Like, this is it, you know. Um, and she, I'm just, she just has to, in my opinion. Like, you have to be of use, in my opinion. Now, we've seen some of these kids take their quirks to, like, crazy levels of, like, uh, invisible girl all of a sudden needs to be able to like reflect re reflect a silhouette and Todoroki's able to fuse both sides and have like ice and fire going at the same time and you know we're seeing kids kind of like go to these levels it's like wow we didn't even, I didn't even think that was going to be a thing just wild to me today I'm guessing at this point in the story I don't think she's going to serve any purpose um I would love for her to maybe at least if, the, if there's one person you'd want her to heal that you could revert that has damage at the moment who do you think would be the most useful in the story? It's probably not going to happen, so I gotta put the airy dreams to bed. But I'm trying to think of the injured groups. Who could she heal? Now, an interesting now, I don't think it would work that way. If she went back and like rewound All Might. I mean, I I think he could rewind back physically prime, but he would be without the quirk. I think he's I don't think he'll somehow they could have two, you know. Um, one for all users running around just because she rewound him. I think he'll still be empty without the quirk. Um, so take that. I'm trying to think who would, if we could heal Endeavor, heal Hawks, heal Aizawa. Mm. Honestly, and you know, call it what you want if you could get him to cooperate. Is Overhaul not like the candidate to have? Just given what. Can he not essentially just do what Aerie does and just reset everybody anyway? With how busted he is, that would, I think, if you if you remove all bias out of it, like, could you get him to mentally agree to actually help? Um, would he not be the prime candidate to drop on the hero side battlefield? Given what his quirk could do? And my question is, like, so speaking of overall, we're going to go on a fucking tangent here. Could he not disassemble hawks and then reassemble him again but like in prime i don't know the overhaul specifics on that um but i that seems pretty busted but don't get me started on that we'll be here we're already here talking for nine minutes we'll be here for another 10 minutes if we go on an overhaul tangent so all in all it doesn't look great um we'll see how this goes everybody should see this on tuesday patreon and youtube well youtube the scheduling never messed up because i'm so far ahead on all the other shows you got there shouldn't have been any bumps in the roads with uploads but we should be patreon members you guys are getting one piece episode 482 today um sakazuki versus ace and then youtube i think you guys should be getting one piece episode let's see if i 462 i think yeah, you guys are getting 462 today, Whitebeard versus Okaji. 
Patreon's getting Ace versus uh, Akinu, Akanu, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and then everybody should be seeing this on YouTube in the afternoon around like 10 or 1 or something like that. But let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what you got here. She's never going to be able to. Mm -mm -mm. But what can she do? Like, I love the passion. I love all of it, right? That'd be so much more effective if she had two. It's not enough. What the fuck? The will of the quirks that he's stolen? Or fighting back against him? What? This seems awfully convenient. Has he has that ever been a thing? There's a small crack. Seems too good to be true. Oh! Has he ever had a problem with that before? The Quirk's will fighting back against him? Has he ever? That's wild that that's happening right now of all times. The mask is broken. Alright, Tokiyama, what you got for me? What do you have for me? Whoa. It's really holding him down. I'm so curious why now the quirks are fighting back. Maybe the quirks inside of him never felt that there was a moment that he might be this weak, so they didn't even bother to try. It's awfully convenient, though, no? <laughs> he said, I needed to dodge that attack just now. Oh, shit. You got a quirk for this? Or are we just done? Yeah, it's everything else on top of it. Have the quirks, has he ever? Okay, he said it's never happened before. That's wild. Yeah, that's in so he did. I don't know. I don't know the specifics on that. That's interesting. But again, this is going way too well, in my opinion. Yeah, that's a joke. That's a joke and a half that he doesn't have control over that. <laughs> my God. Yeah, that's a joke and a half. Yeah. That that. Whose blood is that? Oh shit, Hawks. Did he just pull the pieces of the mask back together? Oh, shit. The mask looks so much better now, too. Endeavor took the... What? That's not real, was it? That's not real, was it? That's not real, right? Did he lose that arm? Did he lose that arm? <sighs> Shit. And they're giving us a Endeavor flashback origin story? Is this man going to die? Oh, sweet, bro. Sweet. Awesome. Can he still create flames just with just the nub or what? 
Like a like a gone still summoning the rock paper scissor without the the arm or what? <laughs> he was talking shit to himself. That's how he gets motivated. He shit talks himself. I cannot believe that was real right there. Was all that blood endeavors? Was any of that Hawks or what? It looked like Hawks was prepared to sacrifice himself. And then Endeavor's like, no, psych, Neji, I'm going to save you, Hinata. Oh, shit, he can. Oh! And the voice actor is killing it. I would love to see Endeavor get some shine, man. He's been one of my favorite characters since, like, season one. And, you know, like, the, the number one was not was never acquired. It was given, you know, out of necessity because of what happened to All Might. And I feel like he's never really had his moments to be number one. And I don't know if he'll get it here, but... Holy shit, the flame arm is ridiculous as hell. Holy shit. He broke the mask again? Wow. Wow. Okay, we're getting some All Might thinking here. That that effect that they're doing with the with the miss. Ooh, bitch! Oh, I was about to say, how did he move so fast? The animation and art style that they're put that they've been putting on Endeavor for the last two minutes are insane. Imagine Imagine we see like flickers of blue flame starting to come out of Endeavor. He's going to overheat. I was about to say he can't keep this up. We can somebody help us peel this off or what? Some we need just a little bit of assistance. Somebody's got to help us peel off that barrier. Yo, Tree Boy. Camino. Fodder. Fuck them. They gotta go. <laughs> Fuck them. You're in the way. Is there not anybody down there? That oh, he broke through. Flame eyes. Is this Goku? What's happening right now? They're breaking mountains. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, if you're an Endeavor fan, this is great. Yo, 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 do it quickly, 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 quickly. Just do it, do it, do it! Is he... Sh is he shooting fire out of his eyes? I love the two of them having a, uh, like, philosophy conversation at the same time. But what the hell has he just, like, achieved? And you tell me Aerie can't train for a couple weeks to, like, go further beyond? <laughs> People are going crazy right now. Holy shit. Now, the last time he did this and went up there to burn that, uh, that, that like, super enhanced Nomu, when he burned it all out, I'm really hoping, like, again, I'm a massive Endeavor fan. I hope whatever he's about to do actually does something. And... At the end of this episode or the start of next episode, we don't see that, like, all for one had a quirk in his back pocket that helped him, like, eat this or get out of it. Just burn it. Just literally just burn. Yes, just go. All of it. 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 So, Prominence Burn is his strongest attack as far as like pure power output or what I don't know what that flame fist he did I don't even know if he knew what that flame fist was but are there any bodies left up there but part of him still it
Yeah, is what I figured. It was too good to be true. Too good to be true. I was about to say, isn't a piece of him still inside Shigaraki? So clearly he's not dead. Shit, he might even end up taking over Sh What the fuck is actually happening here? What? Is that the episode? Oh shit, we're only halfway. Um, Endeavor, do we burn it again? Like, what's the play here? We're not just gonna sit here and let him do that. What? And you're gonna cut me to this nonsense? Okay. That was peak My Hero content right there, by the way. And we, I think we did a My Hero live stream uh, last year, maybe like six months ago. And My Hero has really kind of like fumbled it away. I would agree in like the last couple seasons that we've had, right? It's kind of just, and I don't want to get into like, let's shit talk My Hero. Um, but I bring that up to say, whatever you think of My Hero, good or bad, and what you think the last couple seasons have been. Some of the... The highs of One Piece, I mean One Piece, the highs of My Hero are some of the best highs out there in the anime game, in my opinion, across all their seasons. Hmm. It's, it's pretty wild, and that moment right there is a peak moment. I want to go back and try to think what he just did there because they showed Aerie in the bullet so it made me think oh did he inject Endeavor with one of those and kind of like turned off his quirk towards the end so he didn't fully but he's regening so whose regen did he have in there so maybe he had a but no I don't understand how did because he wouldn't have been able to inject himself with a regen would he so why did they show Aerie there did he take a pe I don't know I don't know This is a mess, by the way. Is that tech morphing on its own? Alright, I was talking about they don't have an area of effect over here. Let's see if he's got any juice. He can't destroy all of it. So are all these even doing anything, or are this just spitballs? I'm curious if this is going to be worth a damn or what. Again, they're playing this triumphant music and shit. Um, and the thing is, this group is on a serious time limit over here. This specific group. Of how many moving parts they have going, the stamina of the kids are going to have to be able to keep up. And I just don't think it will be able to. Given a certain point. Now, what you're hoping is... What you're hoping for is that they can at least hold out for Midoriya to get there. Now, they were supposed to be able to hold out while the plan was going in place with Midoriya there. I think that's asking for too much. But if they could at least hold out for him to get there, then you take it from there. Is this doing anything? I don't know, I gotta see this, the dust clear. Oh my god, you see the fingers just <laughs> failing off to the side. I mean, he can't have much left. How much endless sweat has he built up? I mean, they're all freaking out like he's about to do something. Is it looking juicy or what? He got to the body. He got to the body. And we cut, though. 
We've got like three or four minutes left. Um, but for real, take me back to Endeavor though. <laughs> for real, for real. Let's. See what I'm saying? This is, this is hectic. He's too heavy. The, they're literally in the middle of a factory and it's just falling apart. Are they vlogging? Who are they streaming this to? What's happening? What? Uh, all right, this is kind of a buzzkill. I'm not gonna lie. We had a great episode, and now you're kind of killing it. You're killing it. It's not gonna be any pictures and videos of you all crash and burn. All right, promote them up. Okay. So are they just like live streaming this to their their my hero tube? Alright. You better hope their eyes are still working or you're about to I thought we had I thought we had him quirkless. Why was he just able to EMP that? Oh my god. How did he- how was he able to put that up? I need Monomo to close his eyes for like two seconds. Like right here, really, just like... Refresh him, blink, 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 and let's go. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he's not reckless. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Bitch. You got anything in those guns? He's not interested in you. Yeah. You serve no purpose. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a... If they can get in there, though. Uh... <sighs> yeah, guys. I mean, I had less hope in whatever they were trying to do than what Endeavor and them were doing. Yeah. I just don't know the purpose that, like like I said, that some of them are going to serve. Bakugo included. Yeah. Like, that was a cool moment there. And they gave him the flashbacks of thinking of his friends and everything he's been through, but like... Pakugo serves no purpose, to be honest. Yeah. His face isn't regenning. There's so many questions I have of like, what is he currently? Episode? Yeah. I want to go back to... Right before impact. Did it not look like he put up? Yeah, right here. Is that just the effect of the blow? And you're telling me he caught his wrist in that moment? I don't, it looks like he activates something there, but he shouldn't be able to activate something there unless you're saying, yeah, because that shield was up before the contact was made. 
Yeah, it was. So I'm curious if when Aizawa was saying, hey, don't blink, if he blinked in that moment and just that like one split second of him blinking was enough for him to activate that, which is really the only reason that that got through or that that didn't get through. I mean, we've got to go back to... So let me see this here. I need to see this too. Now, part of me was curious of like, because I thought this was a 50-50 again as far as like they could have killed that body. You know, he still has, I guess, pieces of him living inside Shikaraki, pieces of him that might take over and they might have become one to maybe like him losing this body isn't the end of it all, but it's still a like great win for us. And I love that Endeavor got to do that. You know, that's a number one hero right there. And it looks like it's not going to be a thing again. It's not going to be a thing again. I'm done using this body and I'm ready to throw it away. Okay. That's what he says. That's why I can try this. Okay, so what do we mean by this? So he says I'm done with that body. And then we see the eraser bullet. You know, the quirk neutralizer that we've seen. Um, and then they show Airy as well. So I don't know if he has a if he has a couple of those bullets on him. But they show her, they show the bullet. So that's what makes me assume that like he's got something going on with that. So I thought he stuck Endeavor with it. Um, maybe the juice of the attack fully war didn't fully go through. But then we see him just we see him start regening. Okay, so then once I see him start to regen, it makes me think. Does he have his hands on a piece of Ares' quirk? But we know she still has her quirk from the last we've seen. So what is it that he did there? He said he was done with the body. Then they show us the eraser bullet and they show us Airy. And then he starts regening again. And then the heroes say right before this, which of course they have to to make it more believable story-wise, that we know he doesn't have a regen on him. Which we see him regening. <laughs> so there's a lot of like, what is really going on here? Because we see the eraser bullet and we see Ares makes me think that he got he stuck somebody. It makes me think he stuck Endeavor. So maybe he didn't fully able to get the full prominence burn off. Um, but then we also see him regening it as in. Now, they can say that he doesn't have a regen. But you don't know what he's got in his back pocket. Like, you have no idea what he may or may not have. Um, so I'm very curious on that. And they made the statement, I think right before... We've already confirmed that he doesn't have super regeneration. Super regeneration. That is some regen. So there's a lot of questions there on like technically and ability wise, like what's going on, you know? Um, Endeavor going off though. Pretty, pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Um, and again, you could just be caught up in the moment with it all. This is, this has been, that whole transformation was pretty dope. It's up there for probably like top 10 My Hero moments for sure. Because um, you see the arm get taken off. And you're like, holy shit, that was real. Like he, that arm really got taken off. And then to see the, the flame fist was pretty... Insane, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Shit was pretty ridiculous, pretty absurd. Yeah, um, just great stuff. I mean, that's pretty much all you could say. So, we have a lot of specifics as far as like what's technically really going on, as far as all that. But, as far as from an episode standpoint, that was pretty good. Is that the best episode we've had since the Star and Stripe stuff in the beginning? Probably. In my opinion. Like I said, so I'm curious of like... Because Endeavor for me has been a top five favorite character since the first couple seasons. A lot of people say he can never be their favorite character given the way he treated his kids and his wife and like everything that he did. Um, which I totally get. Um, but for me, he's been a preferred character of mine. Um, and we see, we've seen him mentally just going through it the last couple seasons, really trying to take that turn. Um, we see how sensitive he is when, you know, Toy or Dobby, whatever you want to call him, when he's brought up and 
you know, he 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 didn't take the number one spot. It was given, you know, um, which like hurts the ego even more for him, you know. And then it's, and everybody knows it was given because they saw what happened to All Might. So they know that it was given to him and people don't believe in him. He's never going to be All Might. He's never going to be X, Y, Z. And I was like, dang, I'm curious if he's going to get his like number one hero moment. And the stuff with the like enhanced Nomu in the beginning, I don't know what season that was, maybe five. That's some pretty dope stuff. Um, and that moment is probably in my top 10 of my hero moments too. So Endeavor's got two spots probably. Um, but this is up there. Now I really wanted, like I want to see him get a, a number one hero victory. And I think him taking down the original all for one body is a very, very good, very high, very esteemed number one hero accomplishment. Um, Cause given the way Deku's going, he's not gonna have that title much longer. <laughs> but no, I wanna see him get a number one hero win. Um, I'm not gonna lie, they, got, they almost got me. But I think I mentioned like, I really hope that they don't show like all for one's got something up his sleeve at the very end and the man has something up his sleeve at the very end. Now, technically I don't, maybe, maybe I'm just confusing myself. I really don't know what he's got going on there. What's happening. Um, I'm curious to see what becomes of it. Um, like how much more damage does this group take? You know, she's already lost to essentially half her quirk. Um, Endeavor's got a massive injury here. He's lost an arm. Now, maybe, you know, in the future, Aerie could do something if that ever becomes a thing. Um, and he also just used Prominence Burn. Like, he's overheating. So, like, he's... Not only is, it, is he overheating, he, he might need a minute. He's physically, like, oh, probably almost tapped. Massive blood loss and injury from here, and then a complete arm is gone. Now, given that fire, he might be able to cinch off some of those wounds, <laughs> stop the bleeding. But we, we've Endeavor himself specifically has sustained a lot of damage. So, the question becomes, what what version of All for One is about to pop back out right here? Um, is it enough for us to handle with the supporting cast in our current state? Or is he about to come back even stronger than he just was when we fought him five minutes ago before we lost the arm and everything else? Very curious with that. And then the regen thing too, like didn't we see... Is he about to pop a fret like full face? Is he going to get two eyes and like a perfectly... I don't know. Um, but man, that would have been so dope if... He prominence burned him to straight ash, and we just saw all for one, like, just disintegrate out into the wind. That would have been, you know, best case scenario for them. And that would have been, like, just the prime story for, just the, the nice storybook ending that I need for Endeavor. Um, which, I don't know if we're going to get, I'm curious to see what happens here. Like, if we have to go further beyond and do it again? Or... Is he seriously about to regen back something serious and just literally smack the hell out of us? And maybe kill a couple of us. Um I don't know. I have no idea what's about to what's about to become of him. What this version of him that's about to sprout back up is gonna be. And we've also sustained a lot of damage, so. And again, on the other side, I don't take anything serious on the other side until Midoriya shows up. That group literally has nothing that they could do. I hate that they even gave Bakugo that moment just to get embarrassed like that. Um, and like, I, and, and I've said, and people have said, well, it's not going to kind of be like the Naruto war arc. You know, characters are going to have a part to play and it's not going to be all Midor, but like it is though. I'm sure characters will have their moments where they can support him or kind of like, you know, help him here and help him there. But when it comes down to it, like none of these characters are going to serve a purpose to actually give any defining blows, in my opinion. They're just going to be here to support and prop him up and maybe protect and maybe assist. But, like, when it comes down to it, it's Midoriya or bust, you know? <laughs> it's Deku or we lose. Um, 
So to even, don't even, honestly, for story purposes, don't even take me over there. <laughs> Which I know they're not, but I don't need to check in on that group until Midoriya shows up. Um, until then, keep me right here. <laughs> give me two or three episodes right here if you're going to give me that type of content. Because again, I thought that was one of the better, like My Hero Academia peaks of like all of it. You know, and, you know, throw in, you know, Todoroki and Midoriya going at it in what was that season one or season two? Um, you know, you throw in uh, Bakugo and Midoriya throwing hands. You throw in All Might versus All for One. Um, all Might going up against the Nomu for the first time at the USJ, and you throw in all these moments, like prime, prime my hero moments. Um, you know, Midoriya versus Overhaul. You know, all these things. This, all those moments I just mentioned, this is right in there with them, in my opinion. I don't know where it ranks or how you put it, but that's in there. That was some peak My Hero. Now, but now that the dust has settled and we've gotten past the peak of it, let's see what really comes of it. Did we actually do anything? What's the damage? Do we die here? Who gets their quirk stolen, if anything? Um... So we got to kind of see kind of what happens with it. But that's a pretty strong episode. Pretty strong episode, I'd say. Um, so we'll go ahead and leave it there. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, and as always.